What is up, YouTube? Brandon here, continuing on with the knife reviews for today instead of watching the Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> this is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Um, I bought this knife many, many years ago. I'm not even sure how long. I think it's been at least six years, if not nine years. I think I bought it about the same time as the other collector's edition knives. Uh, this one is actually a gift to my wife uh, for her birthday, and it's her everyday carry, and she's used it for many years, and it's held up remarkably well uh, given the amount of use and what she uses it for. Um, this is a discontinued model. Uh, this is, again, the Benchmade Mini Griptilian. Um, this model is the 556-PNK-154CM because this model is 154CM steel. And I believe later they switched to S30V and I don't know what they use now, probably D2 or something, um, no idea. I know they still make the Mini Griptilian, but they haven't made this model in a long time. Um, stats in this knife, overall length is 6.78 inches. The blade length is 2.91. Uh, again, the blade steel is 154 cm. It's hardened to 50, 58 to 60 uh, Rockwell. Um, the finish is satin, which I prefer. Um, it's got a beautiful miniature drop point design, which again, I'm a sucker for drop points. This is really useful for basically everything. It's durable. It only weighs 2.56 ounces, which is quite light, um, really easy to carry in you know, your purse, your pocket, you know, whatever you want to do. Um, this is a manual model with the access lock, which again, a uh, big fan of the access lock. I think it's the best uh, locking mechanism for folding knives you can get as far as you know, if you're actually going to use this and stab into something, it's not going to fail on you. Um, I went away from liner locks and uh, all those types of locks a long time ago, sold all those knives, and now I only have axial pin locks, which is mostly bench made. I, some other brands make them as well now um, that the patent has expired, but mostly bench made. Um, yeah, so things I like about this knife, it's held up really well. Um, very little rust or blemishes on it. There's a little tiny uh, spot right there. I don't know if it's, you can see it. Um, and there's some rusting kind of on the inside there, just a little bit, nothing crazy. But again, this knife has been used for all kinds of things from cutting open boxes to scraping the, uh, junk off of the, uh, electronic stove top, um, and everything in between, you know, cutting citrus fruit, uh, you name it, it's been used for it. So it's held up remarkably well. I've taken it apart and cleaned it a couple times over the years, you know, just polished it and lubed it up, uh, cleaned up the bearings, and it still opens and closes very nicely. Um, this one has a uh, liner, a steel liner, I believe it is, that goes all the way to the end, which is nice. It is a little bit recessed underneath this, um, this, cover but it does go the whole length of the blade and it is uh, a little bit of skeletonization going on there's some cutouts in there um, grip feels good there's a nice finger uh, cutout right here a little finger choil and there's a uh, good jimping here it's basically the perfect um, bite it's not too rough but it's also not too soft kind of the same thing on the top the thumb ramp same deal a little bit small for my hand, but my wife is five foot two and she loves it. This is basically perfect. This is her purse uh, knife. I don't remember the uh, type of grind that the edge bevel had when I received the knife, um, but I use a Wicked Edge sharpener and it now has a standard kind of V grind um, sharpened to 25 degrees. And that's kind of a nice, it holds a good edge for a decent amount of time. The tip is not too thin, so you don't have to worry about um, breaking it off in anything. It's just a nice stout little knife that's lasted uh, a really long time and I have no complaints. The, um, I take that back, I do have one complaint. The pocket clip I wish was a little bit higher. These older bench maids, they like to put the pocket clip a little bit lower. I'm not sure why, um, but it is what it is. She doesn't pocket carry it anyway, so it doesn't matter to her. But for me, I would like a little bit deeper. Pocket clip is reversible though, so plus points for that. And uh, as you can see, there's just a little bit of rusting going on in there. Nothing crazy um, hasn't affected the function of the knife. Another thing, this one is slightly off center in how it sits in the channel. I do not remember if it was like this when I got it. I don't think it was. 
because I'm pretty picky about those things. And if I got one like this new, I would not be happy and I probably would remember it. So uh, it's probably just developed that over the years. Not sure why, it hasn't impacted the function. And at this point we don't care. At the time we bought this knife, I think it was around $90, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, now it's discontinued. I don't know what the new ones cost, but judging by inflation of Benchmade uh, recently, I would assume it's at least $120 to $140 for a similar knife um, if you purchased it today. So yeah, if you can get your hands on one of these older ones, um, don't hesitate to do so. It's been a great, uh, useful knife for many years, and I think it's good for a lot of things that non-knife people want to use knives for, which is just, you know, cutting stuff and yeah, just everyday things. All right, that's all I have to say. Thanks.